What happened to the faker and color lips is probably the biggest open source drama we had so far in the 2022 and most probably even for a slightly longer time. You have no idea what's going on? You missed that little event? Well, here's exactly what happened. A few days ago, the maintainer of the colors and faker libraries made a comment, made a release that basically broke those libraries. Instead of working like expected, they started to print some gibberish in the console in the closed infinite loop. If by any chance you or anybody else used those libraries in the broken version and they made the update and deploy to the production, their application might have been broken. This thing happened, hell broke loose, some people lost the access to the GitHub and PM had to roll back to the previous version of the libraries. But the question remains, did the maintainer of the author had a right to break the libraries because apparently he did it on purpose and can we blame him why he did it and what you as the creator of the application that uses external open source libraries have any chance of protecting your application from events like that in the future. I'm Paweł Spychalski and let's talk about open source and programming. Let's begin with the question why it happened, because apparently the maintainer of those libraries was, let's say, irritated by the fact that the biggest companies in the world are using his work and they are, well, not giving back. So he felt some kind of the frustration and, by the way, he was manifesting this frustration before that his work is not recognized correctly and as a matter of fact he would like to be compensated by six number salary from those companies because they got the huge basically income from using his work for free without giving anything back to the community. And yes, I'm talking about you, the top tier IT companies in the world. So as the result, he broke the code, published the change and anybody who up updated the libs and published their application might have faced a few problems. The real question, however, is did he had a right to do so? Because if we take a look under the which license those libraries were published, we come to the interesting conclusion. For example, the Colors library is published under the MIT license. By the way, I have a video about the MIT license. The link is in the description. The MIT license is a very short license. And in the third paragraph, it states that the software is provided as is, without warranty of any kind. And this one sentence means that the maintainer of the library has full right to do whatever he wants, or she, or it wants with the code. He might break the compatibility, he might break the library, he might change completely the function of the library, does not have to worry about backwards compatibility or anything. And you, as the user, user of the library, you agreed to the license under the which library was published when you started using it. So did he have the right to do what he did? Yes, he did. Was it ethical? Well, this definitely can be discussed. However, let's say that as the open source developer, I exactly feel his frustration and I know exactly what he was thinking. Legal? fully. Ethical? Well, it really depends from the point of view and I think that we really do should start thinking about how the open source developers are compensated and is it ethical for the million dollar companies to take someone's work for free without giving anything back. That's enough of the problem description. Now let's talk about solutions. Because I'm not sure if you know, but you could have and should have protected yourself from this kind of the problems in the past, now in the future. There is just one very simple thing you have to change in your package JSON or any other dependency management software really. The trick is super simple. Instead of asking for the NPM to resolve the newer or close-by version, always 
pinpoint to the exact version of the library you want to use. Never, absolutely ever use the wildcard. Be very, very careful about allowing the NPM to update to the minor version. And really, updating to the closest version is never really a good idea. So spend a few hours and always pinpoint your RPM, Composer, Maven, whatever you are using to the exact versions of every single library you are using. This way, the next time someone will make something similar or just a stupid bug will be introduced in the library that your code depends on, you will be safe because your application will always be using the exact version that you know you think is working correctly. Someone else's decision will not influence your application. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and happy coding!